A U.S. veteran never got the chance to hold his Medal of Honor. Edward Wilkin died during World War II, and the Army presented his medal to his son. And sadly, it got lost. Now, 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich shares how he never gave up hope of finding it. Home of the brave. Robert Wilkins spent decades searching for that special medal he lost as a child. Unlike common childhood mementos, this was his father's Medal of Honor. U.S. Army Corporal Edward Wilkin fought along the Siegfried Line during World War II. At the age of seven, Wilkins was presented the medal after his father was killed in the war. General Omar Bradley presenting it to me, but it, what it really meant and what it represented uh, never really... Uh, I never really understood it. But as he grew older, he lost touch with the medal. Wilkins reached out to U.S. Congressman Ben Klein and his office to have it replaced. Uh, that is something that our team does, but this one was a little unique because they weren't able to uh, replicate it or reproduce it. That's when Klein's team dug a little deeper and made a big discovery online. They found the medal in a museum in Longmeadow, Massachusetts. Wilkins' hometown. To have it come back to the Long Medal Society, I, I know the area well. Today, the medal is back in Wilkins' hands. He says this time is even more special than the first. Of course, especially that it's come back. Uh, I mean, not knowing where something is for close to 50 years. I'm grateful to Heavenly Father for allowing this to come back to me. In Roanoke, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.